Oh no, this is a disaster. Oh, the ticket's going off. Oh my goodness, this is actually better than I thought it was going to be. down everything that's in my mind that I need to do because this is going to be a really really tight turnaround. Oh my goodness I'm super excited because if this is what I think it is I basically got a package off this wonderful artist who created like my characters in a 3D print. Oh I just got a little sack of things in it. <gasps> Oh my gosh! Oh, that was 3D yeah, model. Yeah, how cute was it? Then turn them all into little, little like things that <laughs> was a 3D printer. <laughs> oh my! And um, she actually turned them into 3D models and then printed it on a printer. Look at this! Oh my gosh! Look at the little water bottle at the bottom here. Special occasion, Dicky Bow. Look! Oh my gosh! So so cute. This honestly gets me so so inspired because. In the future of catnip, when I can finally afford this sort of stuff, I would love to get into doing like these mystery boxes and also collectible doll boxes like this one here. But seeing the catnip dolls and figures in the flesh, I just know that it would work really, really cutely. I don't know when that's going to happen, but that would be so cute. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see and if you would like to see that, because I just think it would be perfect. Thank you so much for that, Sandra. And I am now going to unbox the new mouse mats that we've got. Let's get all these on the shelf so that they're ready. I'm going to sort out the back stock. finished stocking the shelves uh, we have got a blank bit here because we have got some new mouse mats coming I'll probably have to rejig this around but I'm hoping this bit will be empty by the time the new mouse mats come uh, that's wishful wishful thinking because I'll put the new mouse mats two new ones there Ta -da! so they're all stocked and I've just left this one blank so just down there with all the mouse mats. Oh, I thought I would show you something as well. Look at this huge box of catnip 2024 calendars. All of these are duds. So basically, don't know if you can see. Oh, that one's okay. What happened was we opened the box of calendars because we like sold out of them basically. And we just had them on the shelf as back stock. And then Mike, as he was packaging the orders, realized that some of them were like stapled off center. So we're just sending um, them off. The annoying thing is the printer company wants the whole box sending back to them, which is understandable, but they don't like give us it back, if that makes sense, which I, I get, I kind of get, but then they're just gonna like throw them out. Do you know what I mean? Whereas I know that you guys would like maybe a seconds one for really cheap or 
even I could give them away free in orders, but they don't give us it back anyway. Right now, I'm going to get uh, like my photography set up out and I'm going to take photos of the new stickers and the new planners. And then I also want to film a reel about the new planner. We have just worked out the price of that and it always worries me a little bit because we're VAT registered here in the UK, which means we have to pay like an extra 20% on top and we have to pay 25% corporations tax as well. And I've got staff, I'll think, oh, well, I'll just put it up for this, but then we work it out and to make a profit, it always seems like we're more expensive, but we've looked at the price of like other people done market research and what they go for. Then we've worked out how much it costs for us to get in and then we finally worked out the price for that. So the new desk calendars are coming. I think it looks really pretty. I'm hoping as well to offer like magnetic ones eventually as well and get magnetic strips, but I'll probably see how they sell first and then that can be for the fridge. And that, that was actually a recommendation on Patreon. I'm just going to get out my photography stuff and I take photos of the new products. There's not much to take photos of. I do take photos of stickers, but what I actually prefer to do is show a digital image of the stickers because I always feel like my camera doesn't pick up the whites properly. Let's go shall we? <laughs> okay, now I've finished taking all the photos of the new products, I just need to put them into Photoshop, which is where I edit them. I used to edit them on Lightroom and bulk edit them, but I like to tweak them individually. So what I do is I drag all my photos and put them into one layer in Photoshop and I go through them and adjust the lighting for that one and save it. It's just the quickest way I've found. It's probably not the most ideal way of doing it because Lightroom, you can copy and paste the filters, but what I found is some images were darker than others. So I had to go into Lightroom and adjust them anyway. And I just find it easier. I've been using Photoshop since I was a kid so I just find it a lot easier in Photoshop for some reason so I'm just gonna go on and I'm gonna edit all the photos This is a disaster. So I created a bunch of functional stickers which I shared with you guys weeks ago now in a different studio vlog. And I did emails, um, social media, working from home and study stickers. And when we were organizing the baskets to put away the greeting cards, we realized that we had like four sticker designs missing, but I thought I just made a mistake in the title. I've just figured out the problem. I mustn't have sent off for them to print this whole time. And what I think I've done is I've done half them here in the studio and then I've went home and finished the rest on my laptop, which means that we've had two different hard drives on the go. Oh no, there's a bit of a disaster. One of my personal hard drives that I use for my personal like at home laptopy work has corrupted because I dropped it and it was the same time I was do like making all these products so I hadn't backed it up yet. The reason that I haven't sent off for those four missing stickers like the email stickers and stuff 
is because they were on this computer, not my other computer. However, now it means that the new designs are now lost because that state drive has broke. I was actually thinking that when I was taking photos of these stickers, I was thinking there's something missing because we've got all these brand new stickers coming in and I'm still going to launch them tomorrow. But I feel a bit silly because I shared the emails and the social media stickers on a last studio vlog. The thing is, because I've shared it to like YouTube and stuff, people will be expecting to see these. So I'm so sorry if you were waiting for them. Um, hopefully by the time you're watching this, they'll all be up. But I really hope we can get the original files that we sent the manufacturer for these. Oh, please, please, please. Otherwise I'm gonna have to remake them all all over again. I mean, it isn't the end of the world. It wasn't that hard, but it's still irritating. Because I've, oh, what a disaster. The launch is tomorrow as well, but I'm just gonna have to do what I've what I've got. <sighs> Never mind, these mistakes are made. I'm gonna have to be mindful of this in the future. Anyway, to make myself feel better <laughs> about that disaster of the day that I've only just realised, I thought I would show you some little tiny touches that I've added to the studio. I've been slowly trying to tidy up. We've had this space here just a complete mess since we moved in. I haven't had time to tidy up. I've just been focused on launches, but I did add a few little cute bits around the studio which I think I will show you because it looks really really adorable. Starting with my desk over here I added one of my little cloud lamps can anyone remember these from the catnip cafe and then over here as you can see at night time it is really really dark well it's not even night time it just gets dark here in England. I added this little pink lamp which is really cute now this lampshade is actually meant to go on like a main light i think but i just think it looked really cute on this base this base was about six pound from b m and this lampshade was around eight pound from b m i think or actually that was on offer for eight, uh, six pound and then i don't know if you noticed but over in dean's corner over here we have some of the classic lights of catnip that we used to have up all the time these were just super cheap off amazon We've got a catnip calendar that needs the month changing. And I also bought another one of these lamps, which is also from b and I really like this one. I like how it's flat and it fits like on these windowsills perfectly. And then this is my little area over here, which is a complete mess at the minute. Excuse that, it always is a mess when, when it's a run up to a launch, it's just, there's stuff everywhere. Don't you think the studio looks super, super cozy? Look, it looks so cozy over here. Cozy vibes. I know it's a studio and I know it's an office and I know it's probably not the priority for everyone. But for me, having a really cozy, nice, clean studio is really, really important and it like helps me. And I'm like, well, why not? I used to work a nine to five in like an office that was really like dark and dingy and just not appealing at all. And I used to try and make my desk space really, really cute, which is also why I made my desk mouse pads that I have because I wanted people if they maybe worked from an office to make their little corner of an office really really cozy because I think it really like affects your mental health and it makes you feel a lot happier and a lot like more motivated well it does in my personal opinion anyway if you spend a lot of time like at work doing work things and for me personally I spend a lot of time in the studio so I want my environment and my space to be really nice nice to work in because you spend like I don't know a quarter of your life at work maybe half maybe even more why not if you have the option try and make the little area that you have and that you work in that you spend time in a place where it brings you some joy or sparks some joy just remember when I worked nine till five I used to try and make my desk like cozy and then even things like collecting cute mugs having little picture frames or little pieces of artwork can make you just feel a little better because you're looking at things that like spark a little bit of joy as Marie Kondo would say and just making you a little bit happy in general. I'm a little bit gutted about the stickers and I've just realised that they're like my favourite ones that I did as well and I've just realised they're probably going to be one of the best sellers at least I would think they would be one of the best sellers so I am a little bit gutted about that but never mind i just really really hope that we can get the original sticker files off the manufacturers so i don't have to do them all from scratch when we sell out of the other ones good morning 
morning guys today is shop update day and i need to work on all my stationery launch we've got my desk pads to launch and i'm actually going to send off i need to put that on my notion actually my planner i'm going to send off with the four missing ones because people are waiting for those ones we had a lot of like requests because it's like a work from home one so we're going to get to work on that and then launch at 5 p.m but something else that i really want to get done is we have this huge bunch of tumblers that i want to create some branding packaging for um, and we're launching these today and I'm going to arrange them all put some new branding on and put them on the shelves and also Dean is going to make some more up so we've got all that to do let's get to work shall we everything's all prepped and ready to go next up we want to get to work on doing the packaging for the tumbler and i have an idea because we have a bunch of old stickers that we've just like kept in the box like i am literally like a uh, harder when it comes to paper we've got like old paper because you never know when it'll come in handy like this very time i'm gonna get my sketchbook out and plan kind of an idea and also go on pinterest for some cute packaging inspo and i'm gonna package all those tumblers dean is currently making a bunch up we have got a lot of them as seconds if you watched a few vlogs ago we got these brand new auto heat presses but the issue we have had is the tumblers we have purchased we purchased 500 the two thin we're gonna arrange all them but first of all i'm I'm gonna design the packaging and get my sketchbook out. Let's go, shall we? Wake up, honey, I made you breakfast. Fresh coffee and bagels, too. A new day is waiting for us. We got lots of fun stuff to do. Let's go to the and feed the monkeys I can lend them your baseball cap Let's make the day a bear and a fun Growing up is just a trap Don't it seem like a trap Like putting all of your joy In a big brown bag I won't listen to any of that jazz Growing up is just a bit fat trail. I take pride in ever working that day. Can't see the use of it anyway. Who can think of such a load of crap? Up. Growing up is just a trail. flower on top and I think I like it better the flower on the bottom like that it's kind of an awkward shape but I think that looks better so we've just got a few put in the dog ones what I'm doing is doing a production line so I'm going to box them all up and then maybe like 10 at a time and then I'm going to label them put them on the shelves and rinse and repeat until we've got all them boxed up
such a good use of these stickers that we already had i just think the boxes look really nice but it is shop launch time so we're just hitting go what i'm gonna do now and i probably should have done um, like literally an hour or two ago i didn't even realize the time to be honest i've been listening to an ali abdel pod uh, podcast and the time just slipped away from me to be honest uh, i haven't got that many more tumblers to box up uh, but I'm going to quickly make a new banner I think and I'm also going to post like an Instagram reel of like doing a tour of the new products that have come in. So if you watch my 2024 productivity goals on Notion like my whole year and I broke it down into quarters had this section here that says planner, stickers, cards, stationery launch and we did that too. Ta-da! We did it all! So the next one we're going to be working on is the Pocket Planner Tears collection launch and the Daffodils and Duck launch in middle to late March. So I've just added a basic banner to the front using my calendar. You can't really see that. What the heck? It's chopped off. I, that was a test. I need to check the mobile version. So if you go smaller, the mobile version works, but the desktop one doesn't. This is honestly one thing that I love about Shopify. The fact that it's just so much better for navigation purposes, like being able to navigate my site easily. I just love it, it's so much easier. And before, my Etsy star just had like a list, oh, the ticket's going off, yay. But yeah, it's just, it's just so much better to navigate. And we've had like a new mouse mat launch. Uh, maybe we should do a section Dean saying back in stock. Oh my goodness, this is actually better than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, we're already at like 14 active carts, 11 checking out and seven purchased. And there's people in America, people in the UK, and now we ship to Europe, which is really, really good. So we can ship to Europe now. Woohoo! <laughs> satisfying the shelves are all full of tumblers except for this blank bit up here because we haven't restocked all the autumn ones but look how good they look it's really handy having the SKUs just here as well for our purposes and I've also um, mi like mismatched them so I've got BBT01, BBT02, Pastel Witch01 and Pastel Witch02 ta-da so good. I think I didn't hit record on my last goodbye on the vlog, so I'll see you in the next one. All right then. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I love you. Goodbye.